Well, it's always a fun Friday when Chef Joe is back in our kitchen. He gives us these great recipes to take us into the weekend, and something like this would be real nice on a Saturday night. Oh, it is. This is stuffed delicious. flank steak. Yep, and we're making a stuffed flank steak, and the way we're going to start that, I've already added, since flank steak is a little bit less expensive cut, uh-huh. I've added a little bit of, uh, for once, some uh, meat tenderizer. Okay. And then I've added some salt and pepper on there, rub that in real good. And we're okay. gonna start, we're gonna start, we're just gonna get a big old handful of our stuffing mix over here that I've already made. And you just made that according to the box directions. That's it. That's Boil it. The just water, throw a little it in, bit of water and some it. butter. A little bit of water okay. and butter. And we're gonna throw that on there. Okay. And we'll keep just a little bit of that. So we're, we're really gonna stuffing this it down with here. stuffing, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to stuff it with stuffing. And I just happened to bring uh, a handy wow. tool just in case you need to convince John of some things. This is, <laughs> this is a good one to use here. I always use uh, those on your husband's. Uh, so we're going to roll this out real good and roll it out and make a nice, clean, flat layer so it'll roll better. Okay, very even. Mm -hmm. And I'm liking that you're roll using like the flank steak because, like you said, that is an inexpensive cut of meat. It is. And you can still work with it in many different ways and really bring out the flavor. Right. And it's really, it really has a, it's really a, uh, a cut of meat that will give you a lot of flavor that you can do stuff like... Uh, wine marinades or things like that with it and it really will pick up the flavor quite well. Okay. Well, let's get that out of the way. And now I've got some uh, onions and peppers. If you want to sprinkle onions, I'll sprinkle peppers. Okay. And let's go ahead and get that switch that. Look, we've got Thanksgiving with our stuffing and now we're adding the traditional Christmas colors, Joe. Mm -hmm, we sure are. A little <laughs> green and red there. A few holidays. All right. And now that we've got that done, and you see how quick that is. Uh -huh. I mean, I just, I had already laid this out and I took some uh, plastic wrap, put it over top of it, and used my good old uh, meat mallet. Okay. And pounded it. So got we're going to roll thin. this guy up. Now it's probably going to shed some things on it. That's why we've got the parchment and aluminum foil under it. Okay. But we're going to roll this guy up and get him nice. And let's try to keep as much of that tucked in as possible. And something like this kind of a meat, do you want to, are you going to cook it real slow and low to cook Actually, it? I'm going to cook it on 350. Okay. Uh, 350, and it takes about an hour to cook it. Okay. So we will definitely, uh, definitely be happy to see this thing come out of the oven. Okay, if you'll bring me the bowl right there. Okay. I've got a baking, baking dish, and you don't really need much because we're going to put some great, we're going to make a quick gravy here. Ooh. Here, let's just put that. this put this guy in here and I put it on there with the uh, rolled side down okay. so, it won't, so it won't uncurl on us. Just like a burrito. Mm -hmm. Get this out of the way. Inside. Shed the gloves here real quick. We're just going to use some, go, uh, some good canned mushroom gravy. Nice. We're going to toss that into our uh, bowl. And then of course like Joe always does he's going to add a few things to really bring it out. We're going to throw in some white wine because I hate to lose any of that gravy so I'm going to put that white wine in there. Or uh, white wine, red wine. That uh, happens to be a some Pinot Noir. I wasn't going to call had, you out. I thought maybe yeah, Gina. Sorry. You know, <laughs> <we're> Gina. <laughs> it's one of those mornings. Uh huh. Um, Shaking it up. Mm -hmm. Shake it up real good. We're going to mix that on in there. And that's a Pinot Noir, by the way. Okay. Um, once that's once we got that in there. Oops. We got some garlic to mix in with that. Okay. And I think we're about ready to go. And you're just going to mix that up, and then you're going to pour that over this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to bake it for about an hour. Forgot my whisk. We are starting to wonder about you. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're going to finish up this recipe coming up here a little bit later on in the show. For more on this recipe and different specials of Food City, you can always check out the website, foodcity.com. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by...